In today's episode, I'm giving my thoughts on a niche fragrance that you can now pick up for the cost of a mid-priced designer scent. This is Oud Café by the House of Mansera. And to find out what I think of this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 93 of my Fragrance 365 project where I give my thoughts on a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is Oud Café from the House of Mansera, which is a unisex fragrance that was launched in 2013. And the perfumer behind this creation was Pierre Montal. I own a few Mansera fragrances and all of them either feature uh, a different printed design on the glass or they come in uh, different colourways depending on which line that they belong to. Uh, but this one comes in a cylindrical glass bottle with a brown to clear gradient. And we've got a, a metallic gold label on the front which contains the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the concentration and also the bottle size. The cap is also finished in a metallic gold and it features the Mansera logo on the top. And I really like this uh, screw on cap feature that you get with all the Mansera bottles. Uh, it's a mixture of metal and plastic, uh, but it does feel really high quality and you get a high level attention to detail, even to the point where when you screw the cap on the, the logo there on the top of the line, it just lines up perfectly with the label as it's screwed on, uh, but you have to screw it on fully. The presentation on Mansera fragrances are one of my all-time favourites and they look awesome when you have a, a few of them lined up next to each other. You've got all the different colourways and the, uh, the the printed designs on all the, on all the glass. The uh, spray quality is really good. It's, uh, it's not a massive blast, uh, but it does uh, deliver a nice uh, even distribution. So yeah, Mansera, Mansera bottles, 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, the top notes in this one are black currant, bergamot and peach. In the heart, we've got coffee, amber and floral notes. In the base, we've got woody notes, sweet notes and white musk. So there's one thing that I've come to realise by owning a few fragrances from the house of Mansera, and that is just try not to guess what they're gonna smell like either by their name or by what's listed in the note breakdown. They will, for example, take a sweet accord and blend it with something super sour or something herbal uh, to throw it off in a completely different direction. This one's no exception and it opens up with a prominent note of coffee, uh, but this isn't a dark, rich, roasted coffee as you'd expect. It's a, a strange concoction of notes that scrambles your senses. The coffee is there, uh, but there's also a kind of licorice accord that comes off it. And just when you, you start to think you've gone, to you've, you've totally lost the plot, there's a, a fresh green note in there too. And the whole composition smells of like celery. Um, it's absolutely bonkers. And before you ask, no, I've not taken any drugs today, uh, but seriously, uh, pop some licorice in your mouth, take a bite of celery and take a sip of coffee and how that would taste is how this one smells. It's just weird, uh, but what's even more weird is that I actually really enjoy it. It's so addictive and unique and you just can't stop smelling it just to try to work out what's basically going on with it. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, but I'd say give this one a few wearings uh, and it really takes a hold of you and now I absolutely love this one. This one is a cold weather fragrance that I would tend to wear in a more relaxed and informal setting. It'd be ideal for a meal out or a date night and it doesn't have uh, what I'd describe as like a professional aroma. So it's not one that I'd wear to work or as an office scent. And it's definitely not one that I would wear for a night out clubbing. This is more for those down times when you're kind of sat in a coffee shop reading a newspaper and just basically having like a lazy Sunday afternoon.
The performance on this one is really good and it feels like it's been ages since I've said this uh, but it projects for a good three to four hours and it'll see you easily through to the eight or nine hour mark. The last few fragrances that I've talked about have all been skin scents after the first hour so hooray for a, a genuine solid performer. Um, I would also say that this is a, a totally unisex fragrance and there's nothing in this whatsoever that makes me think that it leans uh, more feminine or, mas or more masculine. I think it's probably more suited to anyone over the age of 25 because there's kind of nothing playful um, or youthful in this one. It's got like more of a grown-up uh, scent profile. This is a very quirky take on a coffee fragrance, which to me smells unique and interesting. Uh, this will probably divide people's opinions and it's not one that I would say is mass appealing or versatile. However, in the right setting, this is a really gorgeous fragrance with a very relaxing scent profile. You can now pick this up for around about the £60 mark for a 120ml bottle size like this one. And for that price, it's a, a very, very good pickup. I still would put Killian's Intoxicated ahead of this one if you're interested in a really good coffee scent. And if you're on a budget, then maybe Halloween Man X is a, a really good option as well. Uh, but at the price uh, that you can now pick this one up for, um, I would give this one a, an 8.5 out of 10. Yes, yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to make a big statement here by saying that I'm going to be talking about possibly the best cold weather fragrance that you can buy to see us through the uh, second half of this really freezing cold winter season that we're having, especially here in the UK. So make sure you tune in tomorrow to see which one that I'm talking about. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And it's always great to hear your, uh, your thoughts and your opinions and your critiques on all of these fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So as always, thank you once again for watching. Um, stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you tomorrow for a really good one. Bye bye for now.